<laughs> well, it's been a while, everybody. I'll give you that. And I'm sorry about that, but we've not been doing anything. Notice the shouting and the mop whining and the arguing coming from the back of the car. That's Hazel strapping the kids in. And Fox whining, laughing. Willow over there trying to get in. <laughs> Do you know what? This is, we are anarchic as a family. This is complete bedlam we have here because, well, you know for yourselves what we're like. But this will give you an overall view of what we're like. This is starting out of the morning. Imagine how it just becomes more chaotic the further we get into the day. So now look, she's fell over now. She's stuck there. Look, she's there. Fox is there, not refusing to get into the seat even though we're in a rush. And Hazel, I think, has just lost it and gone off somewhere. Where's Mummy? I'm here. Oh, where? There she is. I thought she finally lost it. I'm here trying to get rubbish out the car that doesn't need to be in it. Right, so Hazel's doing a detox of the car. Them two are right in the back. We're going to pick Nanny and Grandad up. Although I won't show them on film because I don't think they want to be on film, to be fair. So you might you might see them briefly in the background. You'll see you'll get glimpses of them, but I won't stick the camera in their face and tell them to dance or anything like that. How are you, Nanny and Grandad? Yes, they're mad enough to actually volunteer to come out with us today. All right, Hazel press gang them to come out with us for a day. So bank holiday extended family day. Yeah, Hazel and uh, Mum and Dad, or Hazel really more than anything thinks that bank holiday Monday should be spent walking. And just uh, enjoying everybody's cut doing each other's company, which actually is quite nice, you know. I draw the line at the walking bit, but anyway, the reason I've not been on for a while is uh, it's been a, pre a little bit of a painful year so far. Uh, I'm hoping it kind of stops here as far as major pain goes. Because if you remember, let me bring you back to the catalogue of events or the catalogue of mishaps. The first uh, at the beginning of the year, I broke a little bone in my foot. I broke a bone in my foot. Do you remember that? And I was in that um, lovely, lovely gothic-looking sort of... It, it would have been gothic glam rock boot thing that I had. And I was in that for ages, wasn't I? And um, I was in agony. And that was fine. And I got over that. That was fine. Took the uh, boot off. I'm walking around normally. Literally, within a couple of weeks, I then tore the actual ligaments in my ankle of my other foot or my other yeah the left foot the right foot was the one that got busted and then the left foot i've torn all the ligaments in it so i'm now on you crutches you see and uh, making the best of a bad lot so i did that and uh, uh, i'm not sure that i haven't broke it it's been looked at it's been you know the doctors looked at it and stuff and they said oh it's all the ligaments are torn it's gonna take a long time for those to repair themselves as is the case um, I have been out investigating still because that's not, I'm not going to be put off from doing that, even no matter how much pain. I generally dose myself up with, with like, painkillers and just get out there and then suffer the consequences a day or two later. I know it's going to take me longer to recuperate, but I've missed two years of investigating. I'm not going to miss any more, you know, unless I can help it. So I'm not going to miss any more if I can help it. You know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, so the ligaments are torn in that. When it went over on it, I actually heard them tear. I heard this rip. And um, it was like um, several sheets of paper being ripped at the same time. And I thought, oh, no, oh, no. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I had that looked at. That's, that's as good as it's going to be for a while. It's going to take a long while to heal. But I'm not sure I haven't broken it because it feels like there's a break in it somewhere. So I'm going to get them to do another x-ray on it and see what comes back, because it just doesn't feel right. And of course, that's where I am this year. So, yeah, good. It's been a, an eventful year. Where are kids? I'm here. Oh, I can see. It's been an eventful year, kids, with my legs, isn't it? Yeah. I'm saying hi to the dogs. Oh, the dogs are in the back as well. Lily is really mad because she can't get over into, like, enough room. Well, they, look, they do love to get over, don't they? Into the... when Mummy said, OK, get in, Lily got in and, and she, then went and tried to jump over the Yeah, she will do that. She will. It's amazing, that dog. She's just not the youngest of dogs, but she can formulate enough energy to get over a seat. Yeah, she can't formulate enough energy to get out of bed when you tell her in the morning. But, um, yeah, I guess it's what your uh, what your priorities are in life, and hers are getting into the front seats. And then 
and not getting up. Anyway, we're going to crack on. We'll see you when we get there. Speak to you in a bit. Oh yeah, by the way, we're going to we're going to the South Downs today because it's lovely. It's a nice cafe up there, and we can have a little bit of an amble, or I can have a little bit of a I don't know wobble, as it were. Speak to you when we get there. Right, you'll notice there's a big gap in between videos. Hello, Hazel. Come, hang on, look, what do you want? I'm ordering a McFlurry. What do you want? I want a, what they got there? Cabbage cream egg McFlurry, please. That's me lunch. Why is he not allowed one? Because it will melt by the time we get home. Valid point. No, well, I'll get him one, I'll have it, and then I'll tell him what it was like. In, in the garage, if you get Fox one, right, yeah. and I'll eat it, and then I can tell him what it was like. Oh, or let him have it. I'm, so excited. I'm not offended. Right, so, yeah, you'll notice there's a big gap. The gap between the start of the video and this coming up to the end of the video. And the reason there's a gap is because uh, when we got there, there were so many people, it was so busy that I really didn't video anything. I'm sorry, they've been really rude here and talking over us. No. Look at that crutch. That is a posh crutch, that is. Try and get the crutch to become famous. Famous crutch. Yeah, could, you could, yeah. So, I was going to say give my crutch lots of likes, but no, I don't think that would be. Give the crutch lots of likes. That would be, um, I don't think it would be suitable yeah. for a family channel. <laughs> so have you had a good, have you had a good time, kids, even though I didn't video any of it? Have you had a good time? Yeah. Fox was slightly perturbed and annoyed because he wasn't allowed an ice cream. And the more that he, the more that he uh, protested, the more Hazel dug her heels in, didn't you? I'm getting you a flurry now. I'm getting you a McFlurry. Yeah, McFlurry, McFlurry. Oh yeah, a McFlurry, a McFlurry. Right. So here we go. You're putting people out of a job, Hazel, ordering on apps. 20% off. Then GM let's put as many people out of a job as we can. I don't know. Have you, you look all um, flushed, Willow. Um, you look flushed and red. Are you hot and bothered? I'm hot, yeah. Why are you tired? Is there anything to do with you being up at three o'clock in the morning? Six, actually. Six, no, you went to sleep at about three, didn't you? I went to sleep before nine. Oh, okay. Thank you. But you were up. At, you were up at. No wonder you were up at six. Yeah, I was up at six or seven. I don't do killer pose in here, but I'm getting you. A Why can you lot never get up at that time at a school day? Because they don't go to sleep at nine o'clock. Well, there is that, I suppose. Oh, thank you. No, that's mine. That's you, it's mine, mine from Granddad. You're not having that. You get your So Hazel's dad bought a hers. He does as he does every year. He bought her an Easter egg. Me and the kids didn't get one. So rude, Granddad. Not so that rude. I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm only joking. No, it's because she's a daddy. You're a daddy's girl, aren't you? She's a daddy's girl, so she gets a. When it comes to, Easter, gets, it comes to Easter eggs. Like me. Right. I like Willow. Willow's a daddy's girl. <laughs> Fox <laughs> is a mummy's boy. You are. Yeah, He's just said I'm a mummy's boy. You are a mummy's boy, Fox. That's all right. You are a mummy's boy. There's nothing wrong with that. I used to be a mummy's boy. <laughs> they used to call mummy's boys pansies in my day. <laughs> Pansy. You're looking. I always talk about my dad. I always talk about my mum, don't I? Or do I not? Is it disproportionate? I don't know. He's really mad about that. Well, I was kind of a daddy. Well, I wasn't really a dad. I was a mummy's boy. And you're a daddy's girl, aren't you, Hazel? Willow's a daddy's girl, aren't you, Willow? Yeah. yeah. You uh, you can't stand your mother, can you? She's, uh, no, I can't. No. She's yelling at me. Yeah, always yelling at you. Yeah. Right. This is an amazingly exciting vlog. It's fun, isn't it? 
you know, if I don't put one up for weeks, then all of a sudden yeah, I do I stick one up. Yeah, awesome. It's um, most of it is spent going through a drive-through McDonald's. It's fun. We're talking. Right. You got anything to say, Hazel? Can you contribute anything to this vlog to make it any more exciting? Watch the. Watch or do you think it's penultimate? Oh, oh yes, hey, Willow and I are going to start a new channel, and we're starting. Ow! Very. Oh, it's not called it. Owl. It's called Homes for the Fae. Oh, so is we're going to be building. But we're not going to. We're going to tell you. We're going to show you as we go the first video, but we're doing it this weekend coming, aren't we? Yeah. So Homes for the Fae will be our channel, and. Uh, Willow and myself, and we'll be, we'll be, yeah, please come and watch and subscribe <laughs> if you get the opportunity. If you want. Even if you don't, come along and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you want, of course. Oh, is that a painting? Homes for the Fae. Oh, no, no. so it's just a window. All will be revealed this weekend, or not this weekend, just after next weekend. And uh, I'm hopefully going to be visiting my friend Damon this weekend coming because it's his boithy weekend and I haven't seen him and the lads for God knows how long. So it'll be good to catch up with them, even though I haven't got a camper van. Um, mm. um, so it'll be great to catch up with the boys this coming weekend. Lots of fun to be had, I hope. I'm sure there will be. It's always a blast with the lads. So it'll be great to see them. Great to catch up with Damon. I haven't seen him for ages. All the boys. And uh, yeah, I miss them really a lot, to be honest. Mostly my, well, completely my fault. I've, I've been doing something else or I've been booked doing something else when they've had weekends away um, or I've been injured. Um, so yeah, it'll be good, it'll be good fun. You look bored now, Willow. Yeah, I'm tired. Right, I'm gonna go now, guys, because my flurry's here and I've gotta eat it. See ya later. So see you later. Bye. Fox say bye. Dog say bye. Dog say bye. Cram down in the boot. You're all right. <laughs> See you in a bit.